Hello there chess lovers, so right here and in today's video we are going to analyze a very dramatic game. This is a game played between two French chess grandmasters at 2006 French Championship. Igor Alexandre Natov is playing against Maxime Vache Lagraf. Here we go! Natov opened up with e4 to which Enviel answered with Sicilian defense. D4 and instead of the standard c takes d4 we have knight f6 attacking the central e pawn. This is a modern variation known as anti queen takes d4 move order. D takes c5, but instead of going for knight takes c4, black first announced a check from a5 and only after knight c3 played knight takes e4. By choosing this offbeat line, MVL is trying to imbalance the position, and this becomes really interesting. C takes d6, knight takes c3, b takes c3, queen takes c3, bishop d2 is of course now forced, queen goes back to c5, rook b1, queen takes d6, bishop d3. It may seem that the dust settled, but more fireworks are waiting for us. Bishop e7, there goes knight g5 and h6. Okay, I'm first going to go through the game and then I will turn on Stockfish and we will stop on key moments and see how the evaluation changes. h6 is really a very dubious move and steps into knight takes f7 sacrifice. Something which Natov made. King takes f7, queen h5 check, king f8, queen f3 check, king g8, bishop g6. Now there is a mating threat, and once black neutralized that threat, there landed rook takes b7. This is crazy, guys, what's happening on the board? Why is playing so aggressively? The rook sacrifice was not accepted, instead we have knight c6. There comes bishop f7, check, king f8, and now what to play? It's white to move, and in here, Igor Alexander Renatov made another staggering move, and he played queen takes c6. This is insane, this is insane, what's happening? Let's see what's the idea behind this queen sacrifice. And there we have it, this diagonal is now vulnerable, and we have bishop b4 check. Bishop e7, rook takes e7, and now white is threatening a discovered check, which can even lead to a checkmate. That's why we have a5, preventing a discovered check, attacking this bishop, trying to neutralize it. And then after the bishop retreated, we have queen a4, yeah, again, harassing that bishop. But here, white is playing bishop g6, creating rook e Eight mating threat. Rook e8 is also made after bishop a uh, queen takes a3. So this time we have a bishop sacrifice, but of course that was not accepted. King g8. Rook d1 creating another mating threat. Bishop a6. And rook d7. Rook d7. Is there a way to stop white's accretion? Rook h7 was the move made by MVL. And that rook instantly dropped. King h8. Yeah, now we will cover why not. Uh, King h7, that simple, that steps into a checkmate. Now comes bishop b2. And queen takes a2. At, uh, creating a mating threat. And also taking this bishop. Bishop takes g7, check. White is sacrificing the bishop on a7 as well. Then we have bishop c3 check, ah oh, sorry, bishop c3, king g8, rook g7 check, king f8, rook f7 check, and the players agreed to a draw. I guess after seeing so many sacrifices, you got disappointed seeing a draw, but this was a fighting draw, and now we will see what's gone wrong in white's attack. Here we go, we have bishop e7, let's go from this move on. Knight g5, and h6, yeah, you can see that h6 is really not good, better was developing the knight if queen h5 than g6, if here the knight e5, but okay, we have h6, 
and knight takes f7 although according to stockfish better was queen h5 king f7 check king f8 check king g8 bishop g6 look better is going for rook b7 because this bishop is only seven and may and that makes sense for example now if rook b7 then if for example knight c6 then you can capture only seven and then on c6 now that bishop is becoming a target if and if bishop b7 then queen b7 if queen d5 then we have a bishop only seven which we can capture while in, a, in the game we have bishop g6 and once Blake is playing bishop f6 this rook b7 is not that venomous Go, buddy. Rook takes b7. Knight c6. Check. King f8. And queen takes c6 is the first line. It turns out that in this position is the only move which keeps the balance. <laughs> a forced move. Insane, insane. What a position. Check. Bishop e7. But MVL is miraculously defending. MVL is really good. He keeps on fighting. Now king g8 is the only move, rook d1, and bishop a6, bishop b7 looks so anti-logical, you are putting your bishop where it's hanging, bishop a6 looks natural, but there goes rook d7, rook h7 takes, ah, okay, now if here, if king h7, then check, check and checkmate that's why we have king h8 bishop b2 queen a2 check so far white is playing amazing moves but in here white spoiled everything yeah bishop c3 is not good the winning move is h3 creating a loop for the king and then already white can cold-heartedly play bishop e5 check rook h7 for example let's just make a random move c was the threat a4 then bishop e5 check king g6 if here then this move is winning and if king creating rook h8 threat and if king g6 then g4 taking under control this essential h5 and f5 squares if king goes to g5 then check king h2 and there is no escape black king is getting checkmated but yeah h3 white overlooked played bishop c3 check and again in here h3 is something which could allow white to create some problems for black but decided to go for a repetition of moves what if we are playing h3 is this unclear queen takes c2 bishop e5 queen c5 rook e6 queen c1 check yeah why decided better not to enter these complex lines yeah, it's unclear to see all this from afar and might choose a solid draw but anyways this was a fighting chess fighting draw very nice attack by Natav and I hope that you enjoyed the game feel free to share it with your friends as well in the end I chess problem for you it's white to move and made into we'll wait for your answer in the comment section Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.